channel The Mantle Traveler. I'm Caro Herrera and today I'm going to be reviewing a historical fiction book called Tanamera. It was written by Noel Barber and published in 1995 and before I begin I'd like to say that this will be a spoiler free video so you can sit back and enjoy. Okay, so I've loved writing ever since I was 14 and right from the start I've been a big fan of historical fiction novels. I'm guessing because I've always been a history lover and many of my favorite historical fiction books deal with what was happening to Englishmen living in the colonies of the British Empire during the 18th, 19th, 20th century, particularly if they're family sagas. Still, I'm afraid that despite all this I'd never heard of Tanamara up until a year ago. Someone here on YouTube recommended it to me on my review of Semindar and I recall that I looked it up, I thought it looked really good. And so I bought it, still I didn't read it for many months. In 1989 they made a series based on the book and I'm gonna read the summary of the show that's on IMDb because I like it and I think it shows what the story's about. It's set in Singapore and it follows the lives of John Dexter, an Englishman, and Julie Song who are from prominent families. They fall in love but their families object their union. Julie's family would send her to America because of racial issues. So they try to keep them apart by different methods. But at one point they reunite, their love as strong as ever, but then World War II happens and we see the fall of Singapore and how the characters try to survive and overcome this. I give Tanamara 4 out of 5 stars review because it's a really good book. I loved how smooth and yet descriptive the writing style was, easily drawing you into this world. The characters were well fleshed out and I never got confused despite the fact that there were several characters and all sorts of things were happening to them all at once. Also, it was interesting to see what was happening in Singapore during World War II because I had just read a novel called Coming Home that deals with this female protagonist whose family is in Singapore when it falls and she's in England and doesn't really know what happens to them after it is taken. So it was good as a history lover to explore what was actually happening in Singapore in this period of time. Still, I must confess that I didn't love Tanamera. I didn't really like it and I don't mind if I never read it again. The main reason for this is because I didn't like the story. I like the protagonist at points, but not enough for me to cheer him on or care what happened in the end to him. I didn't like the way the author wrote the story. I didn't like what happened to the characters. Like I would have done things differently if I had written the book and I didn't like how he dealt with certain issues. I don't know, I'm guessing being really romantic here but like I tend to like historical fiction books written by women and the books that I've and these books specifically deal a lot with romance and so when I'm reading the romance that this man wrote I didn't really buy it because it felt too crude too raw too real maybe if I'm reading about a supposedly great love story I don't care to see the man being like oh yeah I love Julie but I'll just go out and sleep with all of these other women because I can't have her like, that's not the sort of romance that I'm looking for in books, in historical fiction. I prefer more loyalty between the characters, more fidelity, so that was also a big turn off for me. Still, I haven't seen the adaptation that I mentioned. I don't think I'll be watching it because I didn't like the book, but if anyone cares for it, it's here on YouTube. And finally, I usually, I love spoilers and I prefer to watch an adaptation before reading the book. So a part of me wonders if I had seen the, the series before reading the novel, if I would have liked it more because I would have known what would have happened, but yeah. For the moment, I believe that this is all I have to say about Tanamira. Thank you so much for watching my review of it. Please let me know if you enjoyed it or not, as well as what are your own thoughts on the book, the historical events it represents, the author, anything that's relevant. Also, in the description box below, you can find a link to the book's Goodreads page. And well, I'm Caro Herrera, the mental traveler, and I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you're in the world. I'll be seeing you soon. Take care and goodbye.